Hi everybody, it's Sandy Bacus here. My channel name is Sandy B. Stitcher. And I'm back. <laughs> um, as you know, um, I was having computer problems and my laptop that I had been using to record was not letting me um, use the video camera. Um, the battery had been dead and I had had it plugged in but it decided that in order for me to use it, I needed to recharge my laptop. Well, I couldn't recharge it because the battery was dead. And it was a Toshiba, and Toshiba stopped making laptops and computers, so that's why I couldn't get a battery for it. And I loved that laptop. And I'm not happy with the camera on this new laptop. Um, I just got this last night. Um, I had purchased it several days ago, but um, I purchased it at Best Buy and then was having them transfer all my information from my other one onto this new one. And um, so I finally today did a couple of test videos and I'm not happy with this camera. I don't think that it is the same quality that my uh, Toshiba laptop had. This is an Asus. Um, and since I don't want to spend a fortune on a laptop, um, I guess it is what it is. I'll have to live with this for now. Um, I know that my husband somewhere has buried a old um, video camera. Cam camcorder maybe I don't know what it is but I I don't know whether that would work for me either but um, I guess for the videos that I'm doing we'll just have to live with this I hope you'll be able to see the things that I'm showing you um, I know that there's a bit of a lag I can see it in uh, just looking at the screen I can tell that the video is not quite matching up perfectly with my actual voice. So I'm sorry. We are just going to have to go with what we've got for the time being. Um, I can video in a different place now because um, of the fact that my other one, I had to keep it plugged in all the time where this one, um, I can run it off the battery. So um, I am in my sewing room. So I think I did a video in here a long time ago, but it's been a while. Uh, and I'm not, well, I suppose I could show you around a little bit if I'm careful about how fast I try to move this. But over behind me, you can see I have my sewing machine. It's a Husqvarna that I've had for several years, quite a few years. And, um, probably since about 2002 maybe. I have thread, I have my hoops up there, um, and directly behind me is a closet. The door going out is over there. Um, if, let's see, if I swing you around in this direction, let's try to go, let's try to do this slowly. And I'll swing you around and you're gonna see a mess. <laughs> This over here is where I keep a lot of junk. Um, it's also where my fabric is in some of those bins over there and some other things and some frames and stuff like that. So then I'm gonna swing you back around here. This is my work table that I have um, this set up on. And if I swing you over this way, that back there, is where um, I store my whips and my projects that are kitted up and ready to go and where I store my floss. And on the very top shelf, there's some extra boxes and so forth. And then down below, down below, you can't really see it, but I have some extra boxes and also um, my kits that I haven't opened yet and a lot of charts that I haven't opened yet. And if I swing you around a little bit more in this direction, this bookcase, this is where I have all my floss boxes. 
I used to have them in the back there, but I've moved, since I got this bookcase, I moved them over here. And since I store them in plastic containers and in little baggies, um, and I have a whole bunch of these. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes over here that are pretty well filled. And since I just bought the 35 new colors, um, I had to make a new box for those. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put those. And then on my actual table here, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll swing you over a little bit more. I have a container with drawers there, and I have more charts and more floss. And behind, actually on this table, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I use for finishing and all kinds of stuff. So let me move you back a little bit so you're not so close to me. <laughs> and let's get on with this video. Um, welcome to all my prior subscribers. I know that um, my subscriber count has gone up a little bit. So thank you to all of you um, people that have joined and going on this journey for the crazy because um, everybody who's been watching me for a while, um, you all know there's a little bit of, uh, but you know, I do the best I can. And um, I don't know, maybe you guys like crazy people. <laughs> I'm gonna, I try to keep that crazy down, um, but you know, every so often it sneaks out. But uh, for the most part, um, we're doing okay. Um, you know, I've had my sicknesses and everything, and I've just was suffering from that TMJ again, and I just got some prednisone yesterday, so um, I'm hoping that that's going to start working. And uh, that pain in my jaw, if you're not familiar with TMJ, it's an inflammation of where the joint in your jaw meets, and I got it over here. And so, um, let's see. How about if the first thing that I do is I give away the charts that I had shown on the last video. I believe my last video was April 11th. Today is Sunday, and I think the date is April 28th. Uh, I'm not where there's, wait a minute, my phone is right here. I can pick up my phone and I can see, yep, see how smart I am? It's April 28th and it's in the afternoon. And so let me, oh, those are the new charts I'm going to give away. Okay, here's the ones that I showed the last time. And I already did the random number generator and wrote down who gets each chart. Okay, the Paula Vaughn, the uh, cardstock chart here, is going to Born to Stitch. Oh, I just got a text message. Let me check that real quick and make sure that that could just be not. Oh, Joanne Fabrics. I can go back to that later. So let me, I just, I need to, check to make sure it's not an emergency of any kind because lord knows we have those in my family every so often so anyways paula vaughn born to stitch send me your address my email address will be below it's sandybstitcher at yahoo.com but i'll put it in the show notes below and so i can get that out to you um this was the one that we called blue and this goes to Pixie Stitch. And I know the focus on this is nowhere near as good as my other computer was, but I think for the amount of money I paid for this thing, it would be much better. But maybe it's just the difference between Toshiba and Asus. I was told Asus was a really good brand to get. Okay, this one was Santa. And Santa is going to Vicki Pickstock, 
And Vicki, I had sent you an email telling you that I was holding your other ones. I think I have two other ones for you, two or three, to see if you would get one of these and I would put them all together in a larger envelope. Um, I will have to take that to the post office to get that weighed up. So it may be a few days before I get this out, but I do have your address. And then the last one was the tray, what we call tray. It was the uh, little bear in the tree, so cute. This one is going to Patricia Ferry. And um, Patricia, I probably have your address in my old um, email, but could you send it to me if the Sandy B Stitcher? So I'm trying to get all the addresses together in the Sandy B Stitcher email. It'll make it a little simpler for me. So if that's not too much trouble, I would appreciate that. All right. Well, while we're doing charts, why don't I go ahead and show you the charts that I'm going to give away for this time. And then we can move on into showing you what I stitched. And I have a finish. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. All right. The first one that we have oh, let's get the is this stocking. And let me see if there's anything else that is here with the stocking. Christmas stocking. This is the information for that. Okay. Here's another stocking. Let me see if I have, if the chart is here for both of these. And if it is, then I will there is this one and the other one is called Visions of Sugar Plum and yes they are both here so let me show you the other one so you'll be getting the charts for two Christmas stockings and there's well Go here. All right, I hope you can see that. There is the other one. They're both very cute. They're for children. All right, so if you are interested in these, then tell me you'd like to stitch the stocking, and I'll know that you want both of the charts. So we'll put that one over there. Remember the things, don't say free, don't say giveaway. You have to be 18 to send me your address. Um, I'll ship anywhere in the world unless it's a particular chart that I tell you no, only U.S. Only US. But these that I rip out of the magazines, these I'll send anywhere. Okay, this one here, I'm checking first to see if there's anything else with it. Nope, just the one. It's like a, a shell and I think Starfish, conch shell. Um, it is called, let's see if it has an actual name, By the Sea. Okay, so if you are interested in this one, tell me you would like to stitch C, S E A. Try to make this as easy as possible. And the last one here is just the chart, and it's Eat Your Veggies. And there are some pictures of some veggies there. We have squash, tomatoes, eggplant, pumpkins, radishes, and peppers. This is kind of a really cute little, looks like it'd be a fairly quick stitch. And all the directions and the, um, the counts and the, it's 93 wide by 123 high. And all the colors are there. And um, oh, that's the sampler stitch count. And then it says the motif stitch count is 29 wide by 40 high. So I'm not sure what all that means, but um, I don't know if there was another part to this or something, but there's just this. Um, but, anyways. If you're interested in this one, just say you'd like to stitch veggies. I don't seem to be too well prepared today, and I'm sorry. 
it's been um, it's been a crazy couple of weeks. They've been working on our roof on our house, and they're not here today. They've worked off and on all week, dodging the raindrops, and um, so there's some days where they're pounding so bad on the roof that my head is just pounding. <laughs> but when it when they get the house done, then they'll move back to the barn, and <laughs> won't have to hear it. Okay, so what did I stitch on? Um, I had I. I don't feel that I did a tremendous amount of stitching, but I did stitch some every day. Um, there's just some days maybe I only got an hour of stitching in. Um, and my reading really went by the wayside too, so I won't have a huge book review here in a couple of days. But um, I did work on Birdhouse a little bit, and it's the one right down here that I was working on. And I hope that's coming into focus. I'm having a hard time telling whether this is actually focusing well on these pictures, whether you can see them or not. I'll find out when I play it back. Um, and where am I at with, oh, I've got this tied up with a needle minder. So let me get it opened up here and show you where we're at. This is getting close to a finish, but it hasn't got there yet. All right, and here is where we're at with Birdhouse. And I've been working mostly down in this section over here. And this is pretty close to getting done. And then I think that I have some back stitching over in the flowers on this side. I hope you can see this. Hold it up there as close as I can get it in. So it's coming along. And after I finish showing you what I've worked on, I'm going to tell you about Mania, which I'm not going to tell you a whole lot of anything. But <laughs> the other one that I worked on was Home Sweet Home. This is a Design Works kit. And this one has a needle minder on it, but I think it's on the back here, and I can just kind of hold this up. All right. Get it to where maybe you can see it. I was working on that black and white cat, the head and the upper body, and there's a lot of white in there that I have a feeling that you probably cannot see. So it wasn't a whole lot of stitching on this, but there was some. So it's coming along. That over here. And the next one that I worked on was Starrett House. I was built, well, building me a mansion. And this is where I am at with that. Hold it the right way and fold this side in. And maybe I can fold this side in and I can get it to where you can see it. And if you look at the picture, am I getting it to where you can see the picture? All right, in the middle, this these are those three windows in the middle there. If I can if you can get that into focus. Then I moved over here and I'm working on this roof right here. So um, if you can see that, I think I got it all in there. And you can see I got the chimney in and the, the little spire there. I don't know if that's supposed to be smoke or if it's a spire or what that is. But anyways, that's where I'm at. This is a hand-drawn chart. Um, so at times, it's a little bit difficult to read. And it is backstitch, super, super heavy. Um, it's not hard backstitch because it pretty much follows the outline of everything. But do you see these windows right here? Can you see that those windows 
every little part of that is stitched around. And then there's down here, you can see where I haven't backstitched those yet. But, you know, I'm not a, uh, I don't care for backstitch much, but this is not bad. And I'm trying to backstitch it as I go along. As soon as I get a section done and I can get in there and backstitch, I do. So um, I don't want to leave that to the end. Because <laughs> no. I still have Bayside Cottage that, you know, it's that 16 count. No, 18 count, 18 count. And I just, under, I haven't picked it up and finished that back stitching because it's difficult on that one. All right, the next thing that I worked on was my Hade Mini Mount Cabin Home. And last month, I, I did a couple of boo-boos in my video and things that I misspoke about. But when I was talking about Shades of Summer, which is my full coverage artisy, and I was talking about Mini Mount Cabin Home, I said, you said the months February and March when I meant to say March and April. So Shades of Summer, I worked on throughout the month of March. Mini Mount Cabin Home, I've been working on throughout the month of April. And I hope I said it right this time. <laughs> like I said, there's crazy. All right. I didn't get a whole lot done on this since you last saw it because I was working in a very confetti heavy section. And when, you'll see all my threads and then you'll know what I'm talking about here. Okay. And I hope these threads get them down here so they're not covering up the... but I was I'll bring this up closer here in a minute but I was working all down in this area here trying to fill in hoping to try to go down and say I had a page finished this is the end of the page down oh, I think right here is the end of the page and I've worked down into the next page um, I tend to do that as I go Rather than doing a whole page and then moving to a new page, I don't do that. I got a thread way up here that needs to be sewn in. It's just up there. All right, so I will move this in now, and hopefully you'll be able to see it better. But it's coming along, but there is a lot of confetti. And um, as you know, if you work on full coverage and you work on confetti, it takes time. So you just got to keep plugging away at it. Um, during the month of May, well, I'll tell you that in a minute when I talk about mania. And here is my finish. My Alma Lynn, someone, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now, sent me this as a freebie little chart. And it was so cute. And it was real easy to stitch up. And isn't it cute? And I was going to give that chart away today. But you know what? I left the chart. is downstairs. And so next time. Uh, tune in next time for <laughs> if you are interested in getting this chart. Because I will show it and put it up for grabs. Okay. So, did I show that? Everybody get to see that? Uh, this is coffee, tea dyed, Ada, that I coffee, tea dyed myself. And, um, as I said, this was just a cute little stitch. Thoroughly enjoyable. And, yeah, there was a lot of white in that beard, but it was mixed in with some cream colors. It's not all totally white. And, um, I really enjoyed it. And I think... It calls for, up here, it calls for a little holly button um, from just another button company. And I don't think I'm going to order one button from just another button company. So um, I'm thinking that when it gets more towards Christmas, I will look to see what Joann's has uh, along the lines of something to stick on there. Because I'm thinking about making that into a little pillow. So I'll just put it away for now and pull it out later and um, think about, you know, what I want to uh, do there. 
uh, it would have to have something up there. Um, so we'll just wait and see. Okay, now everybody's talking about mania. Everybody's showing what they're going to do for mania. I'm not going to show you anything because you know me. The chances are highly likely that it won't happen. So why bother showing you stuff that could very well not happen? So that you know what this video is so jerky, and I I don't like this camera. <laughs> Oh, I wish I was independently wealthy, that I had a million dollars, and I could just go out and buy something really high-end and be done with it. But unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I'm comfortable. I have enough to live on. We have enough to go out to eat on a regular basis. And um, we don't really do much else. So I probably should have spent maybe five, six hundred dollars on a computer instead of what I did. But anyways, um, it's done with. <laughs> okay, mania. I have about approximately six new projects that are totally kitted up. All the floss, the fabric. I have the starting point marked on them. Um, they're all ready to go. So, what I did was I went through all of my whips and I think that I have, I think it was 22 whips and I just finished It's Christmas, so that would be coming off of there, so maybe 21. Um, what I did was I went through and I picked out some of the projects that are some of my favorites to work on. And... I have it written down somewhere downstairs, but um, I didn't bring it up here. And it's not that important to get that detailed. But those whips that I picked out, I'm going to work on each one of those for two days. And then I'm going to try to work in six new starts within the month. One on May 1st, and then I mark down days to do them and with two days per other whips throughout the month. Um, but it's not set in stone. So if, uh, if say, I start a new project on May 1st and I want to work on it again on May 2nd, I just may do that. Or, you know, I may work on it a little bit and work on the whip that I was supposed to work on. I don't know. Um, like I said, it's not set in stone. Um, who knows, it could be like last year and I could be sick and wouldn't be able to stitch at all. So um, I am not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to try to get some stitches into some of those new starts so that I can at least have had the pleasure of stitching on them. I have plenty more um, to get ready to start. I have some more kits and... You know, because in the last year or so, year and a half, I went on a buying spree of charts that, oh my, shame, Sandy, shame, shame, shame. But anyways, it is what it is, and I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to starting some of these things. Um, and uh, I have, I'm going to show you this, see this? This is all the floss I bought for another project that I don't even have kitted up yet. And this container is full of floss for a Paula Vaughn project that isn't even kitted up yet. This is just what I had to buy to put in it. I haven't picked fabric or anything yet. So I still have a ton of stuff. <laughs> there's more in the drawers and there's more over there. <laughs> oh, wow. So, and this is still part of the 35 colors that I still have to get into my little baggies. I got the rest of them all done. Some of these new colors are so pretty. Have you looked at them? I mean, look at this. This is number 13. Look at this. Can you see it, that green? It's not coming through too good, but some of these are just so awesome looking. This is number 34. Oh, that's coming through purple, but it's not purple. 
maybe it's because it's coming up against the purple of my shirt, but it's this is more of a really dark red. It's not purple. That shows purple. Anyways, I better stop. I'm at 30 minutes, and I want to say thank you so much for coming back to be with me again today. Um, I apologize for the quality um, that is coming on the screen. Um, I wish it could be better, maybe someday. But we'll see. Um, and I just I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I did hear that Olivia is um, doing well. Um, I heard she went back to school. Oh, my face is itching. Pardon me. <laughs> but I heard she went back to school. Um, and uh, they make a wish foundation sent them to Disney World in Florida for a week. It was all expenses paid for their whole entire family, mom, dad, the two older sisters, um, their half-sisters, and then uh, Olivia and her sister, Brooke. And so all six of them, and they even received spending money to use throughout the day. Um, so that was really fantastic. Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, fantastic unbelievable but uh, and they I saw pictures on Facebook and the, they just oh they enjoyed it so much um, and Lori um, Lori's doing somewhat better um, they she went in and they drained she had fluid in her lungs and they drained it and they took a half a liter of fluid from her lungs and so she it just made all the difference in the world um, we were together on Friday uh, we took a little short trip and and went down to hit a couple of uh, a chocolate shop and a cheese house that has a lot of gift items and everything and uh, then we went to an Amish restaurant to eat and had a really really nice day and um, she was feeling so much better. She's still on the oxygen 24-7. But um, her, she's not laboring to breathe as much. Um, and she doesn't have to use the nebulizer quite so often now. So um, that is all really, really good news. So prayers are working. Your good thoughts are working. So um, let's keep them coming, please. And um, my husband's doing okay. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, um, my husband, Bob, has Parkinson's. He's a Vietnam veteran who was um, exposed to Agent Orange in Vietnam and the Parkinson's. Uh, the VA says it's a direct result of that exposure to Agent Orange. Um, he, his uh, speech is badly affected. Um, that continues to be an issue. Um, his balance is an issue and he, I don't think he's fallen lately, but he's been catching himself more when he starts to lose his balance. So that's a good thing. And, um, his, he has short term memory loss and I really, I think the, uh, Exelon patch that he's on has really been helpful in that respect. Um, he seems to be remembering things a lot better. So I'm, I'm just really, so here again, your prayers and your good thoughts, they're helping. So please continue. Um, and I'm doing okay. I, uh, I could just got to build myself up. I got to start this week. I'm going to start trying to uh, get some little hand weights out and start uh, lifting those a little bit. And um, uh, maybe... We get some decent weather. Maybe I can get out and do a little bit of walking or maybe I can make myself go to the fitness center. That's a thought. <laughs> so um, I just want to send out my prayers to all of you for whatever you might need. Send out my good thoughts to all of you. I hope everybody's well. Hope all your families are well. And sending out all my love and big hugs to everybody. So take care. And I'm going to try to come back in about a week if I have enough to show you. And if not, maybe it'll be a few days after that. So take care.
Happy stitching to all. Bye.